there she is right there right there she's calling them hey guys capper here welcome back another wildlife adventure story that we experienced here at our very rural home in southern illinois um, this is a quail story and we're just going to bring it to you as it happened because it's just one of the many things that we get to see living this far out in the country. But before we get into it, make sure if you enjoy our stuff, we appreciate it. If you hit the like button, comment for us and share it out there to help us grow our family here. We're getting close to 80,000 subscribers and it's been a long road. For those of you that don't know, and I didn't realize this either, Quail are lifelong breeding partners, and they also help raise the baby quail together. So that's kind of important in this case. That's why you're going to see the female looking for the male that, well, you'll see. Let's see how it happened. Thanks a lot. All right, well, I was sitting in there editing videos, and wham, a bird hit the window, which happens sometimes. But I think this time it was a quail. Oh, it's a beautiful bobwhite. You hate seeing that because these things are getting pretty rare. Oh, yeah, sure is. That's a quail. Come on, buddy. Look at how beautiful this thing is. Quail are absolutely stunning birds. And they're losing so much habitat down here. Oh, set them down here, see if... See if he might come back. Oh, wow. These birds are so beautiful. We'll put up here his lighter. There we go. Yeah, that's a bob white. That's a male. Oh, come on, buddy. Hopefully... He just stunned himself. He hit that window pretty hard. I don't know if something was chasing him or who knows what. But let's hope he takes off here on his own a little while. Darn it. This is why, this exactly right here is why we leave so much areas not bush hogged around the farm and we rotate them. So that quail can have some habitat. This one might survive yet. Maybe. We'll see. All right, Mrs. Capper gave him a little water. Not that he would drink, but she kind of got some water in him. And, you know, if he if he's blinking better, but still breathing really heavy, so it depends on if his brain is bleeding or not from the concussion. He flew into that tiny, tiny bathroom window right there. And they don't fly very much. They're usually ground birds, so, you know, something might have startled it or a bobcat might have been after it or something, and it might have took off, and bam. And I hear one calling. I don't know if it's mating season right now or not. I mean, you could hear the other one calling right around the house. Hear it? Come on, buddy. Oh, looky here. Babies, he's up. Oh, I think we might have a survivor here. You hear the other one calling? Beautiful. Oh, we just dropped the deuce right there. Go find her, buddy. I think that's a female calling. Okay, so I left this guy for a few minutes, figuring, well, the worst is he's going to fly away, which would be great. And we went to look for the female. And that's this next clip right here where we found the female. And she was sitting up on a rock calling for this guy. 
there she is, right there. Right there. She's calling him. She's right on that rock next to the transformer. Right there. Okay, so then he started looking a little better and Mrs. K was filming the female in our backyard now. So what, and she was still calling back there. So I grabbed this male and I kind of hustled him to our back porch and I let him go kind of towards where the female was and she was kind of looking at me and he actually flew. He flew right towards her into the weed line and that's where we're gonna pick up this video and as you see the hen he flew about 10 feet to the left of her right in the weed line so let's see what happened She's over. He flew right at her and landed like 10 feet away. Well, I'm aimed on her. Where's he? He flew to the left of her. He flew right towards her, about 10 feet to the left. You may have got on film unless you were zoomed all the way in. No, I was zoomed on her. So he, he's right in that weed somewhere then. He kind of crash landed right by the weed line. Yeah, he flew right towards her. So they got a, Is that him? I don't know. Or is that uh, just a piece of branch? Look at the binoculars ones. Is she still out in the grass? Um, I lost her. Yeah, she's still in the grass. I mean, he's... Where's he? He's right in the weeds. Well, maybe that's why she's looking that way. Oh my gosh. That'd be cool if we can get him. Okay. She had to see him fly. I mean, I kind of pointed him that way and he took right <laughs> off. Well, maybe that's why she's staring there. She did go running. Yeah, she saw me. Oh, okay. That's when she started running. I mean, he's definitely coming out of his... Coma? <laughs> yeah, his dizziness. I mean, he flew a little wobbly, but he went... I mean, she, she has to know he's in there. Can't they, like, smell each other, too? Or? I don't know how they communicate other than, obviously, the voice, the vocals. But she's not making any more noise. That'd be cool if we could see him come out, though. I know. Oh, there she goes. Maybe he's starting to make noise. There he is. No, never mind. Sorry. So he actually like flew above ground or was he kind of flying, running? He flew, I mean he flew 
and he started kind of going down right around the edge of the weeds. And I mean, she had to see him. Mm-hmm. So I thought I maybe saw the white streaks in the male's head coming out of the weeds, but I don't think that's what the case was. So here's the very last shot of her basically walking away on her own. So unfortunately, this ain't like the movies. I can't say for sure if they got back together or if he survived or not. But I guess that's the reality of it. Thanks for joining us and stay tuned for our next adventure. We appreciate it. Thanks a lot.